Hello, everyday and welcome to week 7 of the NDBL Season 2. This week, your Florida Fly Guards are up against Coach Domi and their team, Zerora the Lightning, which is a really cool and different team name, and it's not something that I've really seen before, and I'm kind of excited to fight a team like that. Um, right now, we're on a bit of a hot streak. Um, we started the season 0-3, we lost our first three matches, followed by winning our next three matches all in a row. We are currently 3-3, three and three, which is insane. Um, last week was the first week that I differed from my season 1 record. Um, season 1, I went, I lost the first three, won the next two, and then lost in week 6. We won week 6, but hopefully we can go back to following season 1's record, because in season 1 we won week 7. Um, but we'll see. Right now, Zoro the Lightning as a team is three, no, two and four. They're two and four. Um, the doc's just a bit weird right now with something that I can't tell you about until week eight. So, not week eight. Week, week nine. Week nine, until week nine. So, foreshadow, get ready for that. Um, this is a really important week for us because teams have started to clinch playoffs. Um, I think one team has already clinched playoffs, the team Ants, um, the Athens Altarias, um, a new team, they have been the first one, they are currently 6-0, terrifying. Um, so, f with that knowledge, you need to get 6 wins to be confirmed into playoffs. I really like to go to playoffs this season, because I didn't get to go to them last season, and I want my revenge. I just want to show up in playoffs, I haven't been able to show up in playoffs in any league I've ever been in yet, and you know what, that's the dream, getting to playoffs. That is indeed the dream. Um, but to, if we can defeat Domi this week, then um, if we can win the next three matches consecutively, we could have two fun matches at the end. But that does require winning the next three matches consecutively, which would be insane. Quickly, I'm going to break down what Domi's team is, and then I'm going to break down what my team is. So, first up is Mega Steelix. Mega Steelix is a really scary Pokemon. They've won it, I think, to every single match so far. It's a very bulky Pokemon. It doesn't have any quarter weaknesses because they dropped that rock type for the steel type, which is a really great switch. Um, it hits quite hard. Mostly they've been using it for setting up Stealth Fox, which makes a lot of sense. Stealth Fox is quite useful. I'm not sure if they're going to use it against our team because not very many of our Pokemon are actually weak to Stealth Fox. Because um, Ember is our fire type, but it's also got the fighting typing. Because I don't know, Stealth Fox might not be coming this week. Next up, they've got Galarian Zapdos. Um, I used Galarian Zapdos in a league that was discontinued, so I didn't get much experience with it. I lost the one match that I used it in, so that sucks. Um, it is a fighting flying typing, so it has that weakness to fairy and psychic, but it doesn't have the weakness to rock and ice, which is nice, so it kind of evens each other out. Um, it's a really good Pokemon, I believe there's a certain set in it, U turn, knockoff. Close Combat and Brave Bird. If they run that, they can hit everything in the game neutrally, except Tapu Koko and Dedene. We haven't drafted either Tapu Koko or Dedene, so we're gonna have to hope that Galarian Zapdos doesn't show up. Next up, they got Swampert. Um, we're actually fighting the team that drafted Mega Swampert next week, so a lot of Swampert. If you're a fan of Swampert and you want to watch the NDBL, you're gonna get a lot of Swampert. So congratulations. Um, it's a solid Pokemon, flip turn, it does have that according to Gas, which we're going to want to try to exploit. Um, next, they actually drafted two of the legendary, new legendary birds from the Crown Tundra, and another one of the legendaries, but we'll get onto that later. And they drafted Galarian Moltres, a dark and flying type, of course we have access to Burning Jealousy, which is a great move. Very big setup mod, so you want to be careful about that. They've got Arcanine. I never really know what to talk about with Arcanine, because I've been up against a lot of teams that's drafted it, but they've never brought it against me. So I don't know what to, I don't know too much about it. It's a cute doggo. There you go. That that's your content about Arcanine. I really like I really like this Pokemon. It's one of my favorites. Um Top 15. I'll put it there. Um next up is a Reggie Rock. So they have a lot of rockers on here, a lot of really good rockers. Um Reggie Rock is of course a great rocker. It does kind of struggle being anything else because of its limited move pool, um, but it does its rock type attacks very well. Very well done. They've got Guzzlord. Um, Guzzlord, of course, has that core wing to Fairy, which is very nice for us because we have a solid Fairy type. Um, it's just it's their Dragon type. It's kind of a lower tier Dragon type. The Fairy Dragon Steel Core. Um, it's very solid, 
like, if you've got a sword steel type and a sword and fire type, but a very weak dragon type, so that's what you've got to try to hit it at. Up next they have Spectre, that is the third legendary from the Crown Tundra they drafted. We only got like seven legendaries that we can draft from dropping in Crown Tundra, or eight, but no one drafts Calyrex. And pretty much half of them have been taken by this person, so Domi, props to you. Um, Spectre I've never battled before, it's a new Pokemon, I'm going to have to try to get used to it very quickly. Um, it's a very bulky ghost type. That's all I know, and it can hit very hard specially. It's got this move Chilling Nay or Spectral Nay. Something. I prefer Glastier. I'm a Glastier boy. Um, definitely Glastier boy. I just, that was the first one I saw out of the two, and I, I, I connected with it. Um, maybe I'll draft it sometime. I don't know. Um, but basically, it's a version of Beast Boost. If you can knock something out, it's special attack. Gets a raise, which can be very scary if you can get a kill streak going. Uh, next up, they got Raikou. Raikou, it, um, of course, became much bigger threat in Draft League with getting Scald in Gen 8 with Crown Tundra. I shouldn't be surprised about this. I was there when it was announced. Um, I was actually on the NDBL chat when it was announced, and they said, Oh, look, Raikou's got Scald. We're all gonna die. And then we didn't. It actually doesn't. It means it can hit ground types. But that's really it. Um, of course, Raikou gets access to hidden power moves. But Scald, I feel like, is way more likely because it's based 90 power and it can burn. Uh, next up is Gardevoir. Gardevoir is a very solid Pokemon. I'm not a big fan of it just because it just keeps beating me. Um, Psychic Fairy is an incredible typing, obviously. Um, I'm pretty sure Gardevoir is going to come just because it's such a good Pokemon with such a wide move pool. And finally, they drafted Glaceon as their last bit. Glaceon is my personal favorite evolution. Um, it's not very good though, if I'm being honest, Glaceon is, it is the weakest evolution out there. Gla ice, I almost said glass type. Ice type isn't a good type, it's a glass cannon, and a lot of my team can deal with glass cannons. But, also there's the move users, if you're curious, are Guzzlord and Gardevoir. Anyway, that's their team, time for ours. Um, we have got a debut this week, which is cool. Um, I'm glad we at least got to have... One, so this means we've used 10 of our 11 Pokemon. But first of course is Shere Khan the Landos. This thing has come every single week and it's always really good. Um, it was solid last week, of course it didn't reach the heights of Cobalion, who was insane. Um, this week we're running a kind of a different set. I've watched some of Domi's battles and I noticed they never really brought Hazard Removal. Because of that, um, I'm running Stealth Rock, because if I can set that up, I do a lot of damage. Earthquake is there because... Um, Stab hits Arcanine and Raikou and Regirot all super effectively. And finally, Rock Slide is there in case Moltres or Zapdos is their switch in for us. I don't really have a way to hit the um, Swampert, but I'm just gonna have to hope that I can deal with it with something else. Uh, next up is Siren, the Pre Marina. Siren's running a choice spec set this week. I'm pretty sure last week Siren didn't even hit the field. Um, so hopefully they'll hit the field and do a lot of work this week. Um, choice specs are Liquid Voice. Um, I'm not quite sure why I kept on Liquid Voice. I probably sh should have just done Torrent because I'm not running any normal type moves. I decided to run Hydro Pump this week because I just need to hit really hard. I can't let them set up with any of their Pokemon. Um, Moon Blast is there for Stab. Flip Hunt is there just to get in and out. And finally Scald. Scald is a placeholder move. I'm never going to use it. Okay, well, now you know that. Uh, next up is Black Pearl. Black Pearl did really well, I think, last week. Last week or the week before that. Black Pearl's been doing well. Very well. Um, I'm running a bulky set this week, but with quite a bit of investment in attack. Um, Anger Shot, Poltergeist, of course, for those. And Power Up for Stab and Rapid Spin, because they do really like to lead with Mega Steelix, and then set up Stealth Ox. So, I've got a way to get rid of the Stealth Ox. Next up is Galahad. Galahad was returning from last week after pretty much sweeping half of the opponent's team single-handedly and definitely single-handedly securing us to victory. Um, this thing is the reigning champion right now. This is the MVP of last week. Hopefully Galahad will come in and do a lot of work this week as well. And um, they're running Swords Dance, Iron Head, Close Combat, and Volt Switch. I'm running Swords Dance again just because it worked so well last week. Iron Head is here for the Steelix, the, not Steelix, the Regirock, the um, Gardevoir, the Glaceon, 
and Vol switches are said to get in and out quickly. I'm running um, Expert Belt, so I don't have to make too many commitments. I'm not good at commitment. Um, next up is Sparky, or Mega Mainetric. Um, well, you know it's Mega Mainetric. Uh, Sparky did quite well last week, we're probably going to align it more this week. I'm running Hidden Power Grass for Swampert and Steelix. Thunder is there for um, the birds. Volt Switch is there to get in and out, and Overheat. Like, Overheat kind of got a bin because it's the only coverage move it really gets. Um, it allows us to hit Glaceon super effectively, but that's it. it. We can hit a lot of the team neutrally with it, so that's what I'm kind of relying on. But finally, the most important Pokemon this week, not because it's going to be the best, because it's a debut. Corp the Muck, after corporations, because this is what corporations do to our environment. It's a political message, but environment change shouldn't be a political message. It should be a humanitarian message, because that's what it's going to affect. That got very TED talky quite quickly. I'm, I'm sorry. Don't know where that came from. Um, choice Band Stench. Stench is kind of a weird ability. The reason I decided to run it is because it makes every single move I have have at least a small chance to flinch. Choice Band Muck does so much work. Gunk Shot can 2 hit KO most of their team. Um, Shadow Snake is just there for priority. Ice Punch is there for the Boids, um, the Dragon Dude. That's it. Uh, and by Dragon Dude, I mean Guzzlord. And by Birds, I mean. Galarian Zapdos and Galarian Moltres, and finally Brick Break is here to hit that Steelix. Um, this thing just does so much work and I'm really excited to bring it. I wanted to bring Muck so much since week one, but it's just never fit and it's finally got its time. Corp is your time to shine. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the match. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, have a dotastic day and I'll see you there. Let's fly fly guns. Okay, we are in the battle. Um, very, very stressed about this one. They did bring Spectre and Swampert. Moltres came, which, yeah, not not a fan of that. Gardevoir, I expected. Is it in Mega Gardevoir? I can't actually remember. I feel like Silix is a really likely lead because that's what they lead with quite often. Um, they are the ZTL. Yes. Um, it's a Mega Steelix, okay. Um, we're leading with Shikan because we know Shikan can do a lot of damage. Um, they haven't really bought much to deal with it, apart from that Swamp but Hopefully they don't leave the Swamp Hut. <laughs> they lead with a Raikou, you know what? That's, that is okay. Um, if this thing wants to scold us, um, how are we, how do we deal with that emotionally? Um, Shikhan. Skull does about 70%, and that is max special attacking Raikou. Okay, that's that's quite worrying, because that's a lot of damage. Um, can I just safely go into Black Pearl? Because the Black Pearl, actually Black Pearl's pretty solid. Um, this is a bad matchup. Why would they leave the Raikou? And also, why does it do just so much damage to... Oh. Uh, boy, we definitely KO this thing. Um, what else of its choice specs? Choice specs. That's an Oko. Um, I I've been in situations like this before. So if they want to do that, I want to go into Black Pearl. Because how much do they do, really, to, um, Delmise? Black Pearl, um, most I can do is 34%. Go for Scold. Hidden Power! Um, that's Hidden Power Ice. Okay. Oh no. Um. So it's gotta be Hidden Power Ice for the amount of damage I did. So. Hidden power ice. Uh, yeah, it does about 52 to 62 percent to us. Um, how much? So if we go into um, Cobalion, Galahad, Thunderbolt, this thing rips through my team. Oh my. Okay. Um, 
Wow. That's just muck. Please tell me you do something here. Yeah, Hidden Power Ice is like 25% and they can Thunderbolt and that is like 50% to us. But I think Muck's kind of the least valuable member of the team, so I'm gonna go to them. <laughs> Live, and they are going to <laughs> into this thing. Okay, um... Weird... It might have been Min Speed, per, or expecting an Earthquake for Black Pearl, but that doesn't make any sense. Why didn't they stay in? Um, okay, so they've got... Moltres... Gala... Um, this thing can't really do much to me. Well, let's see. Let's see. Like, does it get a psychic? Because if so, then we might be in some trouble. Um, I can ice punch it, actually. How much does an ice punch do? Ooh, Gunk Shot is an Oko. Like, they don't... They struggle to date Gunk Shot. But, most importantly, what can this thing do to, um... Gala, Mol... Nope. Moltres, Galarian, Moves, um, Agility, Dark, Dark, Ghost, Flying, Normal, Dark, Normal, Psychic, but it's Rest, Ghost, Dark, you Yeah, I'm gonna gunk shot here, they don't have a Steel type. Well, they have Steelix. That's a bit worrying, and they might think... Um, I'm gonna go Brick Break in case... I'm gonna Ice Punch, because at least that's neutral damage. So we go into the I get the prediction right. We do nothing. Okay, I've got to stand up. I'm stressed. Um, okay. We don't get to do anything to this thing. Um. So, I'm locked in, so i got to switch out here. Can I go into Shere Khan? Mega Steelix. Um, Stealth Rock set and um Landorus um Shere Khan Earthquake Gyro Ball just does so much though okay um what about Delmize? Delmize Black Pearl um okay I'll be right back.
Okay. Um. I think I gotta go into Black Pearl here. Yeah. I'm gonna sack off Black Pearl. Kind of our least useful member. And I'm gonna set a self fox. Okay, actually, that means I can sit in here. Um. I mean, I can power it. But I think I'm just gonna rapid spin. So I can get rid of the rocks and up my speed. They're gonna toxic us. Okay, um, I'm gonna start power whipping now. Because that's the most damage I can do. 24, that's a low roll. Um, okay. Do I want to rapid spin here and then... I think I want to rapid spin and get rid of it. Because they're dead set on getting out those toxic spikes. They're not really a big deal for me. I could rapid spin and get rid of them. Then swap out into Landorus. I'm going to do that. Do some damage. Up my speed. They're going to heavy slam. And I think we just die there. Yep. Okay, we got rid of them and I can go to Landorus and I can just earthquake something. Um, okay. Yeah, Earthquake does like 61%. Ooh, actually, wait, that's worrying. That's if it's max HP. Maybe I should have gone into, like, Galahad, but... I think I got his Earthquake here. Also, this thing's attack is down. I can set up my own Stealth Ox. But I'm gonna Earthquake. No, it lives on one! Oh... Actually, they just do that to us. Okay. Um. I'm gonna rock side in case you try to save this thing. They do not. I'm fine with landing. Sure, it sucks on keeping it alive, but it's really just here for the Raikou now. This Raikou. Now we know Raikou is very likely to go for that hidden power. Ice. So I'm gonna go out into muck. <laughs> they go hidden about ice. Nothing. How do we get our health back? I saw this thing took damage for, maybe not. Um, I can gunk shot now. Because nothing on the team actively wants to take that. <laughs> Someone puts about to take a gunk shot. That's resist the damage. Look at that. That is a big hit right there. Okay, um... Swampert, there might be another Stealth Fucker. So can I go into Cobalion? How much does Galahad take? Galahad takes quite a bit. Um, Siren kind of seems like my best bet here, honestly. Like, 240 speed. Um, how much does it do against... Um, not Shik. Yeah, uh, what's his name in real life? Landorus. Um, Earthquake KOs this thing, but I'm gonna go into Siren. Expecting. How much does Earthquake do to Siren? Um, Queen Arena. Siren. Um, yeah, Earthquake only does like 50%, and Hydro Pump should knock this thing out. They're gonna Earthquake. Why does it do more? Can I ask? Okay, I'm gonna have to bank on this thing being... Min Speed and Hydro Pump. It is not, but something is about to take a Hydro Pump. To the f a Specs Hydro Pump. Raikou... No! No! That was huge! This thing was set! do so much damage to Raikou. That was an Oko. That knocked out. I'm very, very upset about that. I'm so upset. That would have been huge. That could have been game right there. Okay, um, I gotta go back into court here.
Volt switch, very well done. I'm gonna predict an earthquake and go into Shikan. I've gotta do it. Incredible play. Really, really well done. Uh, I lose. Yeah, I lose this game. I'll win streaks over. Because of that miss. Um, actually, I got main electric. And I can hidden power grass. No, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Not yet. Um, you know, I'm going to sign and I'm hydro pumping again. We're going to keep Galahad alive. Um, we know we're faster than this thing. Because um, we were... F actually, no, were we? It's faster than us. Why didn't I- I've got to just hide your pump here. And it's probably going to knock us out. Yep. Yep. i got to go into main area. That was just throwing away for me. That was really stupid. Got a Mega Evo Hidden Power Grass. They're going to go into Gardevoir. I'm going to get to lower its stats. Um, okay, so, can I just take this thing out? God of War, Mega, Mainetric. Oh, I didn't nickname it. My bad. Um, Thunder does like 69, so Thunder does knock this thing out. I think I Volt Switch out into Galahad. Um, Cobalion. Galahad, yeah, Moonblast and everything just does a lot. I've got a Volt Switch out here. That's 41. Um, I'm going to have to hope that they don't go for Mystical Fire here. Go for Moonblast. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of damage. Wait, we might be faster actually. If this thing isn't Choice Scarf, we're faster. So, oh, I've got to hope it's not Choice Scarf and Iron Head. It's not Choice Scarf, Galahad's gonna get another kill. How on earth does Gardevoir get access to static? Excuse me? Um. Okay, I Volt Switch here. Okay, he's gonna set up. I get a Volt Switch against this bird. Okay, weakness policy. And um, okay, so... Moltres... Um... Showdown usage with agility and weakness policy. Yeah, this is the exact showdown set, I'm gonna have to assume that. that. Um, weakness policy went off, so this thing is at... Plus two against main metric mega um, special attack. Is that boosted? Yeah. And fire wrath is an oko. Um, I've got a just thunder here. Um. No, main is just way too important. I think I go into Galahad and I gotta let it die. Yeah, I think I just lose. I'm gonna choice band Ice Punch. But I think I just lose. Yeah. That sucks. I mean, everything came out to miss. I played just really poorly this whole game. But, yep, yeah, that is a, a loss. Um, so, that definitely puts our playoff um, chances on the line. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Um, wasn't a great. Oh, it was a good game. Well played by my opponent, definitely. But, um, that the premium in a miss didn't matter because Raikou didn't come in again. So I can't blame anything on that. It was just, I was outplayed by my opponent there. But anyway, thank you all for watching. We'll see you all next one and ODF out. Goodbye.